They want your forgiveness, unconditional love, and they also want your financial stability. Well, you know what they say. If you drop all of them, then you gotta drop then you gotta read all of them. So that they can move in with you. They they feel like if they're with you, you can elevate them financially. It's something here, Gemini, whatever you're doing for money or whatever you're going to school for, or whatever business you're doing, it's like this individual feels like if they can get with you, so th you know, part of the read is Part of the read is who's coming towards you and their intentions. This person is coming towards you, right? And this is somebody that you do have a lot of history with, but they're also, they're coming towards you. Their intentions is to become wealthy, okay? To not be in the struggle anymore. A lot of people are mad, and I don't know why, what it is you're doing, but people are triggered, okay? They're mad. Gemini, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starcy side here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We're going to read for you guys, okay? This is who is coming towards you. It is a general read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross washers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are leaked, really. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we are going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guidance read for my Geminis. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Gemini, I don't know why I heard the name Antonio. Anyhow, okay, so you have Cancer. That's the Moon card. That's also the Chariot. Then we have Venus. That's the Empress card. The Hierophant. And the Justice card, Taurus and Libra energy. Then over here we have number seven on his side. Hmm. Interesting. There's double Cancer energy there because number seven is the Chariot card. That's Cancer. That's Cancer energy. What do we have at the bottom? Whoa. Well, you know what they say. If you drop all of them, then you gotta drop then you gotta read all of them. I wanted to shuffle the deck though. Five of Wands and the higher fent on camera. Hmm. But all the cards did fall out. I'm stumped. What do you think about this, Spirit? What do you think about this? Should I read the whole deck? Because I have read the whole deck before. It has happened. It has happened several times on this channel. What do you think, Spirit? Ten of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. They're saying you deserve to know the truth. And this is equal give and take. You guys are, you know, you give energy when you watch these reads, when you like, when you comment. And so it's an equal exchange of the energy. So let's shuffle. Let's shuffle and we'll read through the whole deck and see what's going to happen. But that Five of Wands was at the bottom, right? So keep that in track. Keep that in the back of your guy's mind. Okay. That five of wands is still going to be at the bottom. Okay. So we have the five of wands, the seven of cups. Mm. Gemini. A lot of people are mad. And I don't know why, what it is you're doing, but people are triggered. Okay. They're mad. They're, they're just mad. It's several people here. Okay. The seven of cups. Five of Wands, they're mad. It's like they want to reach out to you here, the Hierophant. Okay, they want to reach out. Gemini, somebody's trying to get, like, there are several people here that are trying to, like, get you, like, I don't know. They're, they're like, trying to plot and scheme something here. You see how that mermaid has been caught 
It's like there are several people here that have been trying to plot and scheme something, the Eight of Swords. But I see one person in particular. It's like they're obsessed with you. Okay, yeah, the Empress, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. This is a very selfish person. Okay, they're very obsessed with you. There's also a third party karmic here. Okay. Now, what I see here is somebody is very obsessed with you, but they're also very, very selfish. They can be very, very childish, immature. Okay, they may have a lot of rules when it comes to uh, you being with them, but then they don't hold themselves to those same rules. Okay, the Three of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. A lot of you could have been carrying this connection from the beginning. Okay, um, this individual is definitely coming back for more. They are not out of your energy. Okay, I do see that here. They are not out of your energy, Gemini. They're still there. They're still hovering. They still want to have something here with you, okay? They're still trying to carry this. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups, okay? This person really struggles with their love language is what I'm saying here. Like, they struggle with expressing their love to you. And Queen of Pentacles there, the thing is, the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles seven of pentacles it's like and then the fool is there like they feel like gemini if they're with you the six of swords and the king of pentacles they feel like they can go from broke to rich it's something here gemini whatever you're doing for money or whatever you're going to school for or whatever business you're doing it's like this individual feels like if they can get with you so the, you know part of the read is Part of the read is who's coming towards you and their intentions. This person is coming towards you, right? And this is somebody that you do have a lot of history with, but they're also, they're coming towards you. Their intentions is to become wealthy, okay? To not be in the struggle anymore, okay? Um, so yeah, they're, they're, while their intention is to get into a relationship with you, their intention is also to become financially free. They feel like they can do that with you. They feel like you have the keys to their success or they feel like all their dreams can come true. I feel like the people that are mad at you are people that want to be with this individual, but they know this, they know this person, he, she, they, them, they know this person deep down wants to be with you or you and this individual mess around or, or something like that. And it's like people are mad, they're jealous, they're butthurt. It's like they want you to choose them instead of this person or something. The Knight of Cups, like a lot of people, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Sun, a lot of people want to have a brand new beginning with you and they want to have, you know, the nighttime with you, okay? They want to have Nookie Nookie with you, okay? The Hermit with the Death card and Temperance, okay? So that is some sort of sexual alchemy going on there. It's like a lot of people here are looking at you and they want to come in, they want to make these offers, and they want to be intimate with you. They want to spend the night with you, okay? I see that here. But they feel like your heart is attached to this person, Gemini, or they feel like you and this person are together, okay? This past person. They feel like y'all are still together, or you guys are seeing each other secretly behind everybody's back, okay? Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor. Yeah, th this this past energy, for a lot of you, this is your uh, twin flame, divine counterpart, okay? And they move very, very slow. They also take forever to apologize. I do see that here. But this individual is like, they want to express that love offer to you with the Page of Cups. They want to bring justice, okay? I do feel like this individual actually wants to propose to you the two of wands and the chariot, but you see the chariot is there. It's like they want to take things very, very fast. The queen of wands and the ace of cups with the page of swords. <sighs> Gemini, th th this you and this person have a lot of history. If not this lifetime, definitely in the past life. I feel like you and this person, like you both have a lot of feelings for each other. You both have a lot of feelings for each other, but then you just wonder, is there a third party? Can I trust them? It seems to me like there's a lot of trust issues there between the two of you. Queen of Cups, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. The future shows you guys being hesitant to move forward with this individual because you feel like they have some sort of addiction or they have a third party. They have another person. 
Um, for a lot of you, the addiction feels more of a sexual nature. They could uh, enjoy, you know, pursuing other connections, other connections in an intimate manner, or they could enjoy, you know, being on the OnlyFans, talking to different people on OnlyFans. Yeah, the Tower, the Ace of Swords, and you see the Seven of Wands there. It's like you want the whole truth about the, this individual, their intentions. A lot of you are going to feel like this person is love bombing you. I feel like a lot of you are fed up with this person, okay? It's like you... The King of Swords, Four of Swords, King of Wands. I feel like... Yeah, I'm going to get a notification. Like, I feel like when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's bad. And I just feel like a lot of you are so, so done with this this never ending cycle it, it just feels like a never ending cycle the eight of wands three of pentacles knight of wands hmm. gemini there, there's a lot of people headed your way but what i have to tell you is they're just looking for a friend with benefits fling okay there i'm gonna be honest knight of wands eight of wands three of pentacles you know and there could even be like wanting to have like a three-way or something Okay, like, I, I just got to keep it honest. A lot of people here are, are really not looking for a relationship. They're looking to fulfill, like, some sort of fantasy. The wheel, judgment, the high priestess. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a strong spiritual connection that you share with this person here. This, this specific person that is coming up in your read. You guys definitely share... A strong connection but the thing is this individual keeps going around in a cycle the eight of pentacles six of wands and the devil that's why they're not that that's why they're struggling with their success i i just feel like this has caused you so much heartache and pain and it's just been all over the place emotionally with the moon and the five of cups there and you're just ready for new but then it's like the new coming in it's like you think it's going to be this beautiful brand new beginning, but then that Ten of Swords is there. I'm covering it. I'm covering it because of YouTube, right? It's like you think it's going to be a brand new, beautiful beginning, and then that Ten of Swords is going to be right there with these newer energies. So mm, the future shows you guys holding back. Okay, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, being done with love all together. The world is there. I feel like this was a karmic cycle and it came to its close. It was a hard battle, most certainly, because a lot of spell work was being done. A lot of people trying to play on your energy so that they could have this with you. But you see, I, f I feel like a lot of you are pressing forward. And you see, the, the, the this past energy, Gemini, the thing is... This individual is trying to get married to you, trying to get in a connection with you so that they can move in with you. They they feel like if they're with you, you can elevate them financially. That's the thing. And the Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, it's like you know the truth about this individual's intentions. A lot of you already know what time it is. So it's like just when you thought this was going to work out, you know, or just when you thought you guys were going to get somewhere, now you guys are going to clash again, is what I'm seeing here. And then the strength card, six of pentacles, yep, two of pentacles and the six of cups. <sighs> this individual feels like they do not make enough money. It's something here, like they feel like you're too independent, the strength card. And it, it, it intimidates them. I just feel like it intimidates them but why is this why is this showing up like why is this the message for gemini five of swords they want you to mentally prepare yeah ace of cups like i don't know why but i heard you can't teach an old dog new tricks or something <sighs> yeah the hermit <laughs> literally i'm gonna say old dog the hermit is somebody that's old older right but the thing is this individual, they just are very, very stubborn. Yeah, King of Cups. This this King of Cups. Good Lord in heaven, this King of Cups appears in all the reeds when it comes to love. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's like this King of Cups is all over the place. They don't know like how to go about this. 
but then it's like the, they're they're very wishy-washy okay they come off as very wishy-washy like one moment you think they're into you and then the next moment they do something they do something or they say something and so then you're just wondering okay like where are we going with this yeah the seven of wands it's showing that yeah and the ten of swords it's showing that y'all are not wanting this or like you want to break from this or you have been away from this person yeah the star like this individual is going to want a brand new beginning but you see this is what i'm saying nine of pentacles a lot of you you see you're just going to be focusing on yourself focusing on your money yeah page of cups <sighs> gemini they they want your forgiveness and unconditional love yes yeah, scuba diver but you see heart and home they want your forgiveness unconditional love and they also want your financial stability that's the thing they want your financial stability you literally have the ten of pentacles and a heart and home card there like they're hoping if they write you this love letter that they can drive by to your place and move in okay and that they'll have justice that they'll have justice that they'll be you know a okay okay that's what they're hoping but you see spirit is saying this is a gamble this is a gamble this person's gonna propose to you guys but they're saying right now it's unlikely that this is gonna move forward in the way you think it's gonna move forward with the train car there like hot air balloon is gonna be there it's still up in the air bird cage this individual still stuck in a lot of old old shit and also they're trying to hide the evidence look at this book burning they're still trying to hide their evidence bonfire it's something here it's it's some things they don't want you to find out this person yeah oh yeah yeah who's coming towards you they they still haven't changed unfortunately it's sad but they still have not changed and i feel like you would be in this birdcage position where um, you know, you would feel like you need to have your, your guard up 24-7, and nobody can live like that. That's just not healthy, you know? It's not healthy to have your guard up 24-7 um, mentally and also hormone-wise, right? Because then you're constantly releasing cortisol, which isn't good for your body. Um, but yeah, that's what's coming towards you. That is your read. I do hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck, and I wish you love and light. Take care. <laughs>